I am Mike, mostly known as Maka, and I'm the COO at Premier Sports Solutions. I'm Mark and I'm the Creative Director of Premier Sports Solutions and number three in charge. Okay, so we've just come in and I've got to go take some pictures of the um, Cullinan real quick, some videos, and then we will uh, go pick up the Part X, which is really good. The Part X, you're gonna love it. So yeah, come along with me. Please welcome our new bit of stock, the Lamborghini Huracan STO. This is as close as you can realistically buy and drive on the road a Lamborghini racing car. So it's rear wheel drive, scary, with this much power, over 700 horsepower. And just look at it, the color of it, it's absolutely incredible. It's going to be going online very, very soon for £300,000. Nice car, Lamborghini Huracan STO. Unbelievable, right? My name is Rich. I'm the founder, owner, CEO, and managing that. <laughs> that. Let me do it again. Start. Start. Oh, I'll come back. Oh, that's it. <laughs> well, Rich's attention span. You've got him for about, I'd say, five seconds before his phone goes off and then he just switches off. He is gone, he is out the room. And that was a perfect example of it. Mike, I've got a Newcastle. He wants to um, a Nero Urus. Okay. I know we've got a one here, but I think mileage will be a bit high. Yeah. Any okay. other ideas? Yeah. Have a think. Cliffy? Yeah. Is your man still on out of his one? Yeah. yeah. All right. Hi, I'm Cliff. I'm head of retail sales and the office clown. Yes, yeah, Lawrence, he does. Yes, and that would open up a G-Wagon for me, actually. What year is that? It is a 21 plate. So it is? 8,000, I want to say. Perfect. All right, I'll give that a go. Okay. You got any pictures of it? No, I'll ask now. Get them over I'll send them on. So a prime example of there, a lad will come to me or a client and say, look, I want X. I immediately think what I've got here. I don't immediately think what I've been offered, which by the way, we're offered cars all day, every day. Josh, I'm just filming at the moment. Can I call you back in a minute? I will then go in, have a chat with Mike. He's like an elephant, remembers everything and everyone that's ever bought a car and when and what and how. He then immediately said, Cliff's man has got one of them and he wants to sell it. Oh, my phone keeps ringing, man. Just, just what, ignore it. Just take it I'm filming, can I call you back? It doesn't matter what I'm filming, I'll call you back. No, it's not, Mark. No, I'll see you later, mate. Speak to you in a minute. Bye bye. Right, the car then comes back in, it gets prepped, it gets pictured by you, Mark. You do your walk around, it gets put on the website, we put it out with a finance deal, and we sell them. What have we got on today? Um, we've got a well, a great big G wagon in front of us. So that's some new stock. I need to take some pictures of that. I've got a hybrid Bentley in here. Um, I'm gonna do some story stuff. I just actually, I need to get that car out fast. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that now. Most of our advertising is done on social media, Instagram, 
predominantly, obviously also the website and auto trader. For those that don't follow us, they still need to buy a car. Um, so that is part of my job, is to get the cars advertised, right, take the photos of them, then just do a walk around on Instagram, which is something that we've been doing for a few years now that seems to work pretty well. Just on an Instagram story, walk around the car, I can show you the key points of that car, why I think you should buy it. And uh, we throw the price up on the screen, a monthly figure, and if you can afford it, and you want that car, then obviously uh, drop us a DM and, uh, and you can have it. So that is how it works loosely, so yeah. Mate, do you have to do that polishing in here? Because you're going to do it outside in the rain. Well, you're not doing the workshop. That's all right, it's got paint drying in there, because you're going to get one car in there at a time. Hi, my name's Dean, and I am the vehicle prep manager, if you'd like to call it. Just basically make the cars look pretty. We are too busy for this place, that's why we need to start thinking about getting a unit or something like that. Go figure. He wants a unit. We've got too many cars full stop. Too many cars that are sometimes unprepped. By that I mean polishing, wheel edges, general preparation for sale. However, sending cars away to be prepped, you forget about them. And so we wanted to bring that all on site, which is what a large part of bringing Dean on board was. I'm complaining with him about doing work in the showroom that I don't want to see in the showroom. Um, so he said, all right, well, get me somewhere else then, which, which I understand. It just seems that we're getting bigger, there are more cars, which is great for the business, but that's bringing its own challenges and having an adverse effect, I think, on the showroom. You know, then we, instead of these customers' cars being like two, three weeks, we can turn them around in four days, you know? Yeah, okay. I'm a bit of a bridge between most of the members of staff here and Rich, so next job will be have a chat with Rich, first and foremost about a location, and figures, more importantly than anything, is what he's going to be interested in. Dean keeps bothering about this workshop thing, mate. I don't well, think it's I the think worst it. idea in the world, do you think? No, I think it's a good idea. Um, what's probably best is tomorrow, just call him in and sit down and have a meeting, mate. It's need, it needs to be done, so yeah, good idea. Right, boys, so this is Joe. Hi, I'm Joe and I deal with the vehicle preparation alongside Dean and the rest of the team. We no, want no. to offer the whole package. Everyone's what time. sort of machines would you want to put in there? Um, powder coating machines, powder coating all our wheels. Yeah. Spray booth. Yeah. Oven. Yeah. Lighting. Wrap base. Wrap base. Detailing base. base. Yeah. Ramps. A yeah. one-stop shop for everything. Ramses. I mean, I've been thinking about it and we've been talking about it and we, we are 100% right, yeah. right up. You both really know what you're doing and I think Appreciate on, that. On the back of that, <clears throat> it's certainly something which is such a logical step for mm. us. So I think yeah. we want to get the right staff in. We want to manage it's it. It's all about it's your staff, customer service, organisation, costs. Mm. Everything's got to fit. We all and then we all commit to each other, basically. Yeah. All right, lads. We'll sort it out. Get yeah, it set up. Let's go. What happens? It. Yeah, lovely. Thank you very much. So finally, after uh, Richard and Macca shouting at me for the last six or seven months and seeing why it isn't working here. We had a good chat and they are going to come have a look at this unit today. And hopefully it all goes well. Dean and Joe explain their plans for the new units. So this is going to be our powder coating, our spray booth, our wheel preparation. We visit our friend's incredible storage facility and Cliff has a nightmare. So we've got a nightmare. We've got the broker on the line, trying to sort it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get it done. It's a big deal, big player, and it's vital we get this done. Well, it's a problem, so it ends up filtering up to me, so now, 